guys, it's Shilpa here and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, then please make sure to subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell. And also the giveaway is going on my channel. In case you want to check out, the link of that video will be in the description box. So in today's video, I'm going to review and swatch Swiss Beauty Non-Transfer Waterproof Lipstick. So this was actually a request from one of you guys. So I thought of reviewing these. So these lipsticks are priced at rupees 249 for 3 gram of product, which I feel is quite affordable. Plus you are getting a decent quantity. And there are total 24 shades available in this range. These lipsticks have 4 years of shell life. Talking about the packaging of these lipsticks, these lipsticks comes in this beautiful rose gold casing. And the brand name is written over here. And also there is written that it's non-transfer and waterproof lipstick. So the shade name along with the quantity and manufacturing detail is mentioned at the base of the lipstick. So the packaging is not color coordinated. You can't really figure out which shade it is if you own more than one shade. But each lipstick do have its own color coordinated sticker. And I think it's pretty good. At least you can identify the shade by looking at its base. So talking overall about the packaging, I think it's quite sleek and lightweight. But at the same time, it's quite basic. But yeah, what you can expect in 250 bucks. So if you compare the price, it's good. So first, let's talk about what brand claims about these lipsticks. They say that these lipsticks will deliver you intense color payoff and these are transfer proof as well as waterproof. So we are going to see whether these claims are true or not. Let's just talk about the texture first. These lipsticks have soft and moussey texture to it. It's not too creamy or not too matte. It's something in between. Formula wise, it's very soft and glides easily on your lips without any tugging or pulling. It's very lightweight and does not feel heavy on your lips. But in case you have dry lips, then you would definitely feel that you have applied something on your lips. Talking about the pigmentation, I'm highly, highly impressed with the pigmentation. These lipsticks are highly pigmented and these will also gonna work for pigmented lips. Like I have pigmentation around corners of my lips and you can clearly see my pigmentation is not visible at all. Lipsticks are like intensely pigmented. You can see the pigmentation, it's hardly one or two swipes. Pigmentation wise, you won't have any complaint about these lipsticks. Finish wise, these lipsticks will give you complete matte finish. You can see these are not glossy, not shiny, nothing. These will give you complete matte finish. But I do feel that these are little drying for the people who have extremely dry lips. But for me, these lipsticks are extremely comfortable to wear because I really love matte lipstick. And also one thing, some shades do look flaky or chapped on your lips and some don't. This shade particularly, this is Lust on and this shade is extremely comfortable to wear not at all sticky you can see that but for this shade this shade is loud pink and this shade is little patchy on my lips this is the only shade which is little patchy rest all shades are totally fine now let's just talk about the staying power these lipsticks are quite long lasting this lipstick stayed put on my lips for like eight to nine hours after having my meal it kind of fades away from inner corners of my lips so talking about the transfer power these lipsticks does not transfer at all you can see that so as the brand claims that these lipsticks are waterproof, so let's see whether it is true or not. According to me, these lipsticks are water resistant but not waterproof. Like if you rub your fingers, they do budge. So I won't say they are waterproof but yeah, definitely they are water resistant. So now to remove these lipsticks, you do need a oil based micellar water. The regular one will not work and trust me on this, I have tried the regular one and it will not work. So you need a oil based micellar water and I am using my Garnier micellar water. It's great and it will remove efficiently.
So this is the shade 402 Loud Pink and as the name says it is a loud pink shade. It's a very beautiful hot pink shade on my skin tone. And I think this shade will complement all skin tones from fair, medium, dusky as well as deeper complexions. And this shade will just brighten up your whole look. You can see I have barely applied any makeup. I have just applied some concealer, kajal and mascara. And this shade will just pop up your whole look. So this is the shade 403 Cupid Pink and I would describe this color as a reddish pink shade. So it has more like red tone to it than pink. So yeah, this is a reddish pink shade on my skin tone. So this shade is quite similar to MAC All Fired Up. I won't say they are exactly similar but yeah, close enough. And again, this color will complement all skin tones and I really love the way how this color looks on my complexion. Like it's not too bright or muted. It's a color with a perfect undertone. So the next shade is 415 Pear and this is one of the nude shades and I would describe this color as a peachy brown shade. Because this color has brown undertones, this color will complement dusky complexion. It's a very beautiful everyday nude shade. So this color will complement fair, medium as well as dusky complexion. But for deeper complexion, I don't think so this color will work for you. This color might slightly wash you out. This is the shade 421 Lust On and this shade was also included in my top 12 pink nude lipsticks video and in case you guys haven't checked that video yet, the link will be on the iCard above. It's a beautiful pink nude color and if you guys love pink nudes then you should definitely try this one out. It complements my brown skin to perfection. It's a perfect everyday wear shade and you guys can definitely wear this color to college or office. And because this color has more mauve tone to it than previous one, so this color will definitely suit deeper complexion. And hands down, it's one of my favorite shades.
So this is the shade 416 mauve toppy and it's a beautiful deep mauve shade. You can see how this color looks on me and it's not at all a light shade, it's a very deep dark color. And this color will suit all skin tones from fair, medium, dusky as well as deeper complexions. That's it for today's video guys. I hope you guys liked it. For more of such content, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell. And I'll see you next time with a brand new video. Bye guys.